So this is a brand new, unreleased, still top secret film stock I'm holding in my hands right now. A film that I got sent to a couple of days ago. But before I will reveal to you what's hidden in here and tell you everything I know about this film so far, I thought it would make sense to shoot a brand new film in a brand new environment. So let's travel for a different city for today and then let's real talk. should have done some better research. The train is going in half an hour, so I still have some time, but I'm not gonna waste it, but I will load in the film, shoot around the train station area a bit because it's really packed, but that means a little bit longer attention until the film reveal. I thought it would also be a good opportunity for you to see a handful of images taken on this film before biasing you with information. So take a look and be your own judge. What are your first impressions of this film? For today. Thanks. No glaub, problem. Dann sollten wir auch den Zug nehmen, ne? You're welcome. <laughs> Also ich filme zwar auf diesen neuen, das ist natürlich eine moderne ja. Kamera, aber hier siehst du, das ist eine alte Filmkamera. Ja. Und Schmuck machst du auch, hast du gesagt? Ja, Schmuckbänder, ne? So. Auch alles so im Register. Ja. Dann mache ich mich mal auf in die Richtung, ne? Gut, Karin. Mach's gut. Ciao. War cool. Bis nächstes Mal. Ciao. Ciao. <lacht> That should work. So we are finally in Duisburg now and as you can see I have already loaded in my first roll into my camera but I have a second roll here that I am going to show you for the big reveal so please give me a little drum roll for the reveal because the film that is still secret but will hopefully be available to the public soon is this one here. This is a film called Santa Color 100 and this is a C41 uh, color film. However, it's not any regular C41 color film, but this is actually surveillance film. We know surveillance films mainly from black and white, but to my knowledge at least, I think this is one of the first surveillance color films that will be out for the public to shoot in 35 millimeter cameras. So I'm very, very excited for this. And the company that is behind this film stock is Santa Films that you might know because they have already released a different film in the past. And this here is not a completely original new emulsion, but they found this emulsion which was not accessible to the public yet and want to confection it into 35 millimeter film rolls. To be precise, the goal is to re-spool um, 15,000 film rolls, make them accessible to the public. So if you want to support this and get your hands on some, some rolls of this, feel free to check out the link in the description box down below. And one thing that is important to note is that because it's surveillance film, it has a slightly different kind of um, mask to the film, which means that you can develop it in regular C41 chemicals. However, this is not printable, so you cannot do um, negative printing in the darkroom with this film. 
it's recommended to scan this film and also when scanning it's recommended to do it yourself with a DSLR and convert the negatives to kind of get a correction for the slightly different mask on this film. But usually film labs should be fine so you can also drop it off at your film lab that you trust. And without any further ado, luckily we have voiceover Karin, you can say hi here from the edit who will uh, let you know about my thoughts on my shots, but also on this film as we go. So I would say, very excited. Let's continue shooting. Okay, but we have to make a really cool pose. Yeah, yeah, so, that's cool, that's really cool. But all three, right? So, yeah, keep it really cool. Mega, thank you. First, let's talk about some more background information on Santa Cala 100. The film stock will be freshly made in the US in 2022, which means that it is most likely Kodak stock. And rumor has it that it was earlier branded as Color 125. Santa Film is currently running an Indiegogo campaign to fund the launch of this film in 35mm. This film will be hand spooled into old film canisters and cut into size over at Camera Tori in Finland. So a lot of manual labor will go into bringing this film out to the market. With the skyrocketing prices of color film, yet the continuous disappearance of films from the market, Santa Film had the goal in mind to give access to a new affordable color film stock. This film will cost approximately 10 to 12 euros per roll, which was a lot of money for one roll of film some years ago, but nowadays is considered more on the middle or even cheaper side for color film. The crowdfunding goal has already been reached at this point, but it's not too late to support the film community with this good cause and get your hands on some roles as well. Some more facts that are good to know beforehand. The film does not have DX coding, but since most point and shoot cameras have 100 ISO as a default setting, there should not be any issues. Aus, wie ihr zusammen Pause macht, dürfte ich ein Foto von euch machen. Ich bin äh, Hobbyfotografin. Ja? Unterhaltet euch einfach so weiter wie gerade, nicht mich beachten, sondern einfach miteinander. Ja? Ich mache ein. Ah, Mist, Film ist voll. Vielen Dank. Dann schöne Schicht noch. Ciao. Also, it's recommended to load this film indoors or in the dark, and you will notice why on my first shots of this new roll. The film base is rather thin and due to the increased sensitivity to red and infrared light, which is not fully blocked by the film canister, the first couple of exposures might get light leaks as you see here. However, I have to say that I quite like this effect, so it's something I embrace, but good to know beforehand. Uh, I'm gonna meet my sister uh, in a minute actually and we are going to a Landschaftspark here in Duisburg which is um, an area with a lot of the kind of old industrial buildings and machines and everything. I haven't been there before so I will definitely um, spare some of my shots for this uh, location as well. Very excited. Yeah, let's go. Look who I met. Sam! <laughs> this is my sister actually, in case that it wasn't obvious because we have the same face. Um, yeah, Sam and I shot a video a while back where she shot film for the very first time. And of course, I would ask, do you still shoot film? I do. I brought my camera actually. Oh, you do. oh my god, I'm very impressed and <laughs> very proud right now. Yay! <laughs> Will you shoot some today? Maybe. 
I'm a rage. Proud sister, very proud sister <lacht> moment here right now. Dass er halt einfach voll Angst hat oder der hatte am Anfang nicht so die Decke auf dem Kopf, weil das halt nichts mehr macht. Und das ist halt, da war so eine Playlist aus all diesen Liedern erstellt und hat jetzt halt so eine richtige. Way. I switched to the 15 millimeter now because as you can see there's a lot of architecture and landscape format kind of things to photograph so I thought an ultra wide might be suitable. Let's not forget that this is a video about the Santa Color 100 film. I mean <laughs> so what do you think about Santa Color 100 a secret film? Yeah I think it's good. Yeah it's good. Schön der Schatten der Kamera hier im Gesicht. Das ist echt beautiful. And now about my opinion on this film stock. I have to say that the colors blew me away. In my own personal opinion, these colors are some of the most pleasing ones I have found in a color film so far. I think the tones are simply gorgeous. They are very true to life with an emphasis on the red tones. I think the red, orange, brown tones in this film give it a very warm but not too oversaturated look, which is a pleasure to look at. The film is also really sharp with a noticeable but not overshadowing amount of grain. So you took a photo with this camera. Mm -hmm. How did it feel? How did it work out? Complicated. <laughs> <laughs> If Kodak Ektar and Sinister 50D would get a baby, I am sure it would be called Santa Color 100. It has this very cinematic three-dimensional rendering of Sinister 50D while having the dominant red tones and almost turquoise blues such as Ektar. <laughs> <laughs> this oh we are going there. What's this mother? Blast furnaces. Thanks. I am a huge fan of new experiences and I love experimenting with new things such as with this new film stock. I had no idea beforehand how the film would behave, so it was a total coincidence that the red tones of the industrial area would fit with the red tones of that film that much. So thank you again for making this new experience possible, thanks for reaching out and letting me test this film before the release. It looks so steampunk in here, so cool. I think my second roll is almost full. I have like one or two shots left. And now I kind of regret not keeping more shots for this location here. I have some other film that I would probably load in. And um, yeah, experiment some more. The light is just absolutely gorgeous. But luckily I won't be here Whoa, what's loud for the last time but I'm sure I will come back and now I'm 
try starting to get a little bit of uh, height fright, just look down. Whew. Müsste es voll sein, ne? Weiß ich nicht, wenn es noch weiter geht. Wenn es noch weiter geht, dann kannst du noch weiter machen. Manchmal sind die noch ein bisschen länger. Ey, ich probier mal. Ja. Film ist voll, second roll. So, yeah, guess we got it. So, my final verdict on this film: I am absolutely in love. Worst thing that could happen is that I drop the film. Oh, maybe will I? I already supported the campaign and bought myself 20 more rolls. Since I haven't been that fascinated with any other color film in such a long time, so I will absolutely have to shoot more of this film soon. This time, the guys over in Finland developed and scanned my rolls for me, so thanks again for that. But I am really excited to see how the results turn out if I do it myself. So that was everything for today. Let me know what you think about the shots. Let me know what you think about Santa Cala 100. Would you support this film? If yes, what kind of situations would you use this film for? Let's uh, let the car pass before I say my last goodbye. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one. You can't stop this one.